What's up, ladies and gentlemen, duders of all ages? Welcome back to the new and improved resource pack review area. This is like resource pack review area 5.17.0, whatever's. Now, what we're gonna do for the very first resource pack is Vanilla BD Craft version 128 by 128. It is updated to 1.14 and is a very beautiful resource pack. It's one of my favorites. It's I think it's actually one of the very first resource pack reviews I ever did on the old channel. And if you're discovering this channel for the first time, welcome to the family. You are now officially a duder. And that's D-O-O-T-E-E-R-R-E-R. -E -E -R -R -E -R. Yeah, I don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get in here and check this out. Did I even say the version? 1.14. There you go. Anyway, let's get in there and take a look at this beautiful masterpiece. Now, all I ask, ladies and gentlemen, is to just bear with me. It's been two years since I've done the last resource pack review. And I'm probably going to be a bit, a bit messy with my review. I'll probably forget some things. I'll probably forget the names of some things. But I promise it will change and I will get better because that's what usually what happens during time. Anyways. Let's check this out. I don't remember what we used to do. Let's check out the sun. There we go. I'm sure it'll all come back to me at some point. And the moon. It's so beautiful. And now we're going to check out the beautiful array of fireworks that we now have on display. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Just rainbowy explosion-y goodness. And I like this one. This one's my favorite. Yeah. And then over here, we're going to check out... The colored creeper heads. Oh, it's beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> um, okay, now where's the next one? Daytime. And we're going to check out the stormy weather. Hopefully we'll get some lightning. If not, we'll get some thunder, hopefully. Anything? No? Look at the droplets. Oh, they're so nice. No thunder as of yet. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. And there's the snow. Oh, it's just so... I feel like it needs to be a bit thicker. It's nice, but it's too faded. What happened? I thought it was a little more unfaded. Oh, there we go. We got one before I flick the switch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check out the... Uh, what is this? The armor meter, health meter, food meter, and experience meter and it looks like we need to give ourselves some experience there so i'm going to do that and then by the next review we should have some experience down there check it out and then we're going to take a look at the survival inventory here it is in all its survival -y goodness and then we're going to take a look at the creative inventory check it out you know the people who work on this do a fantastic job and i've always said that these guys are amazing all right, so then we're going to take a look at the enchanted sword. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put on my shield. Boop! There's my shield. There it is. Although, I guess it's proper that I didn't put on the shield just yet. But there it is. It's wonderfully shieldy. Urgh! You can block all kinds of stuff with that. Anybody's flicking boogers at you, you can just... Pew! Flick it right back. Pardon my disgustingness. Okay. Let's take off the shield, and we're going to check out the enchanted bow. And the enchanted crossbow. There it is. Boo! Oh, that's cool. I like that. And there are the arrows. That we now see. I'm going to take that and check out the enchanted fishing rod. Oh, that did not work. I think it's because <laughs> I didn't make it a box this time. All right. And then we're going to throw some enchanting bottles of enchanting. So we can chant our buttocks. There are the little swirly things. Very nice. And the snowball. Actually, I wonder if it makes a difference if I throw it there. Yeah, a little bit. Beautiful. And then the map. Our lovely little tale, The Butt, which is the book. There once was a name. I don't even know what I'm saying here. There once was a butt named Duder. The end. Excellent. And we're going to take this lovely pumpkin and smush it in our face. And that's what it looks like from the inside. <laughs> and let's see what it looks like. <laughs> I love it. It's just... It's beautiful. It's an improvement. What do you guys think? Don't answer that. Alright, so let's take this off. And start... You know what? Actually, I'm going to take this because I would like to have my hand available. There we go. Off to the next area, which is the fire. Oh, look at that. And then the lava, 
with the fire on our face. That's what it looks like from inside the inventory. Or inside the first person. And that's what it looks like from third person. Ah! My face! It's gonna melt. Oh my goodness. Then we've got the water. Look at that. All the signs, which now say, num do it, num do it, num do it. And now we have the wool textures. Lots and lots of building blocks. My goodness, look at all those building blocks. And then we've got the glowstone, the uh, the lantern up there, the seed lantern. I can't remember what that's called. My bad. And this redstone lamp, or redstone lantern. Off, on, off, on. Wax on, wax off. And we've got the ore blocks, which are all compiled of ores, but they're all smushed together to make a block. And then we've got all the ores over here. We have the terracottas, all of the concretes, and I actually like the way the powder looks. That's pretty cool. I like that. Very nice. Then we got all these slabs over here. All of the steps, which is now like a huge section. Wow, I love it. I love that they keep adding more building blocks. It gives us lots more options to build. We've got all the walls over here. And the fences with all the gates. And the bookshelves with the enchanting table. There are the little beautiful symbols flying to it. And we're going to check it out and see what this looks like. There you go. I like it. And then we've got all the bamboo. Uh, wait a minute. What's uh, the bamboo? Scaffolding. That's it. And then we've got the yummy cakes. Mmm. -mm. Mm, I still don't know where to put this. I kind of want to put that in a really good spot. Like sort of a surprise area. I don't know. All right, now we're coming over here to the note blocks. This one's my favorite. I like this 8-bit uh, one. Is it right here? Yeah, I like this one. Makes me think of like Super Mario or something like that. And then we got the jukebox over here. We've got the barrel. Inside the barrel. We've got the big chest and the small chest with the uh, ender chest. I think, yeah, the ender chest. Pretty sure that's the ender chest. It's got an ender eye on it. Wow, am I way out of practice or what? And then we've got this table, which is, I think is the smithing table. The cartography table. Can I go in there? Yes, I can. Beauty. And I'm not exactly sure what this is. I keep forgetting. The fletching table. That's right. And then we've got the grindstone. There we go. We've got the saw table. Or the stone cutter's table. The loom. Which is pretty neat. I haven't actually tried using this. I imagine it's pretty neat. Does it have an active though? Like this. You know, like active blast furnace. Active smoker. Does it have an active feature? Because if it does, I should probably put that in here. And we've got the smokers, inactive and active. Smoking is bad, okay? And then we got blast furnaces, inactive and active. And I don't know why I'm looking in them at the same time, because they're both the same inventory. We've got the observer's face and the observer's butt. And we've got, <laughs> got the dropper and the dispenser here. I'm pretty sure they're all the same inventories, except for this guy. What about you? No, you? I don't even know the functions of these guys. I have to learn that. I've got a lot to catch up on and a lot to learn. We've got the inactive and active furnace here. And let's look at there. Just yeah, it's pretty much the same it for We got the cauldron here. And the work table there. Crafting table. Work table, crafting table. Mikasa e sukasa. No, that's not right. Tomato e tomato. That's it. And then we've got the beacons. And the beacon inventory, which is really nice. I, I really love how they work so much on this resource pack. It's just so beautiful, so detailed. And then we have the conduit here. We've got the lectern here. The uh, hopper, which to me is like a sink or a toilet. Although you guys already knew that. We've got the enchant... Uh, the oh, yeah, I forgot about the bell. And then we got the enchant... Uh, wait, what is this? The Bruce stands with and without bottles. See, I really got to catch up. It's... Uh, been too long and then we've got the light sensor thingies inactive and active we've got all of the torches with the lantern over there inactive redstone dust active redstone dust <gasps> the redstone repeaters and the redstone comparators yeah. and then we've got the tripwire thingy over here what's this thing called tripwire hook that's it 
I'm just going to do that probably for a few things because I really got to learn, relearn everything. We got buttons. Lots of buttons. And then we've got, oh boy, the structure blocks. I knew it. I knew it was the structure blocks. And then the command blocks here. We've got the pistons with the switches. And we're going to check out a breaking animation. There is our breaking animation. It's beautiful. All of the doors, the iron bars, pressure plates all here, and then trap doors all here. Beautiful work. And then the ladder. I like it. We've got all of the crops here. Okay. And then we've got all of the vegetation. Although I guess that would be the vegetation as well. So yes, this whole thing is vegetation. Because technically you could eat everything here. Some I wouldn't advise doing. And then over here we've got all of the tree stuff. Look at that tree stuff. And we've got all the anvils right here. Beautiful inside. And my carts disappeared again. So there's all the carts. All of the rails. And... This resource pack of you isn't going so smoothly. But I'm going to try harder. Oh! And over here, we're going to have all of the terracottas that are put together. Not really sure. Glazed terracottas. Are these all glazed? They are. See, I got to learn stuff, man. I'm so out of practice. All the glazed terracottas right here. And that one's messy. What happened there? I guess I didn't know what I was doing. And then we've got all the carpets. Beautiful carpets. Look at that. I like it. Now, on to the gallery of all the colored beds right there. And all the colored glass panes. All of the armors and weapons. Look at that. And then, you know what? I'm going to show the bottom ones first. We've got the regular armors and swords with the enchanted armors and swords beautiful oh and the tridents <gasps> that's what i forgot i forgot to show you guys the trident Woohoo! it's beautiful look at that i love it okay now moving on to what are these we've got all the tools here and then we've got all of the spawning eggs that is so many spawning eggs i'm just going to get rid of that get rid of my hand and then all of the different types of arrows, all of the potions, there you go. All, oh, actually that's potions and poisons, I should say. And then we've got the records, all of the dies, and all of the other items. Wow, so many items now, it's such a huge section. And then all of the food. And, uh, hey, where'd the cake go? Oh, that's right, I moved it over there, gotcha. See, I don't even know what I'm doing. I have no clue. I'm just doing this blindfolded. And now we have every single picture, which is actually one of the coolest things about this resource pack area now, is I managed to get every single picture put up there because in the old area, we didn't have all of the pictures. And then we've got all the heads here. All right. And then the rest of the pictures, which look pretty fantastic in this resource pack. I like it. And uh, let's see here. We're going to go down into the a mob spawning room and check out all the mobs. There you go. We've got the witches and the vindicators. All right. The zombies and zombie pigmen. The strays and the skellies. Which are pretty cool. And then we got the husks and the zombie villagers. The drowned and the endermen. Those guys are cool. I really like these guys. Good addition to the game. And then we've got the pillagers, which are seem to always be kissing each other. Or they're like threatening each other, but they're pushing the weapons right through each other. <laughs> and then we'd see... Oh, there we go. Now he's walking away. And uh, let's see. He has no face. There we go. This guy's got a face. We'll zoom in. There he is. We've got the blazes over here. And then we've got the cave spiders and regular spiders who are in a face-off or talking to each other. The ravagers. These guys are pretty cool. The slimes, the magma cubes, the creepers, and the wither skellies. What's up, guys? You're not looking at us. What's up? There you go. That's better. We've got the skelly horses and the zombie horses. We've got 
the wandering traders and the regular villagers and don't worry there's tons of villagers coming up in the future down the road over there somewhere we've got hey what these guys didn't spawn where did the silverfish go mm, i'm gonna have to take a look at that where's that oh there we go okay we're gonna take one of these guys here and we're gonna spawn a bunch there and put it back there we go now we've got this, this silverfish those things are kind of creepy looking kind of yucky and then we've got the mules and the donkeys we've got the trader llamas the regular llamas which came out as babies for some reason Oh yeah, that's right, they randomly spawn as either babies. Yeah, okay, I get it now. And then we've got horses here. We've got the cows and the mushrooms. And we've got pandas over here. How come they've got runny eyes? Is that... Maybe I need to build, like, sort of a... I should do, like, dioramas for each of these. Just to make it a little more colorful. And then we've got the pandas. The guys. The pigs and the sheep. Alright, and then we've got the fox. And the wolves. What's up, guys? Yeah, I need to build better dioramas for these guys. What in the... The bats didn't come out this time. What's going on here? We need to make these bats spawn. Um, okay. Let's do... Ah! Wait a minute, get in there. No! Oh, there's the bats. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't come out. You know what? I'm going to have to put this back right away, too, because I do not want that floating around here. And just don't push any of the other buttons, okay, please? We've got the stray cats and the ocelots, and I just realized that the stray cats are smaller than the ocelots. I didn't notice that before. Oh yeah, the parrots. Or the macaws. I guess they are parrots, but kind of macaws -y. Ooh. And we've got killer bunnies and regular bunnies with the chickens. We've got the snow golems. Check it out. And uh, a little bat. We've got the iron golems here, which look pretty awesome. And... Uh, what? The phantoms didn't come out. What is going on here? First resource pack review and everything's failing. What's going on? Let's spawn a couple of these guys in here. Uh, can I spawn a couple guys? I have to hit it again. Alright, let's... We'll, we'll put them in here. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see if we can get this actually spawning in the right spot. There we go. There we got some strays. Beautiful. I'll put those back. And put that back. And oh my gosh. Wow. Sorry guys, I'll be honest, I thought this whole area was totally prepared and we're having so many upsets already. <laughs> but there they are, there's the phantoms. Now, we're going to spawn the ghast. Whoa, what was that? There was like a, a there was like a ghost. Alright, we'll turn this off here. And spawn the evoker. That's so awesome. I love that. All right, now into one of the newest and coolest areas, the aquarium, where we've got the puffer fish right here. I wish there was a way to make them puff up without actually having to go in there. That would be nice, but I'm going to... Oh, I can't. Because there's windows up there, and I can't break it, because if I break it, I'm going to break everything. And then we've got the cods over here. We've got the tropical fish here. The salmon's over here. The guardian's right here. The squid. What's up, squiddy squids? And we've got the beautiful turtles right here. And what did two of them spawn? Two sets of them, or maybe I just didn't get rid of the last ones. And we've got the elder guardian right here. What's up, homie? What's up? Turn around and look at us right now. Turn around. Hello. There we go. Good boy. Okay, and then down into the Sea World! Bearded Goof Sea World, and why did only four of these guys spawn? Something is broken here. Something is very broken in my resource pack review area. But there's the dolphins. Very curious. I wonder why this stuff isn't working. I have to look into this. That's gonna bug me. And now we're gonna check out the Elytras. Here we go. Flying out over the trees and down into the bio box. Wow! And I need practice on flying too, but here we go. We got the jungle biome. We've got the bamboo jungle. 
Over here we've got the taiga. The desert. And I have to fix the temple too, by the way. I know that's broken. Um, we've got the swampy biome. The forest biome. The badlands biome. The plains biome. The extreme mountains biome. The snowy biome. The rooftop slash dark forest biome with the mansion back there. Beautiful, isn't it? And then we've got the savanna biome. Just about went right past that. The birch forest biome. Oh, we're back at this one. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> and then we've got the flower forest biome. Hey, leaves are disappearing from the trees. What's the deal? And then we've got the mega taiga. The mushroom biome. The icy spiky biome. The gravelly mountain biome. The... I guess this is the... Cold or lukewarm? I don't know. I can't remember which one this is. But this is one of the ocean biomes. And there's a conduit down there, but we'll get a better look at that later. There you go, there's the ship. And then over here, we've got the frozen uh, ocean biome. There we go. With another ship. Ruins. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then over here is my favorite. The warm ocean biome. Which has all the coral, and it's beautiful. I really love this. This was a great addition to the game, wasn't it? And then over here, we've got... Oh boy, forgive me if I get these wrong. I should know this by now because I just spent almost two weeks working on this place. We've got the Taiga <laughs> Village. We've got the Desert Village. The Plains Village. The Snowy Village. The Zombie Village. And the Savannah Village. With each and every villager from the biomes. Check that out. These are the regular planes. Actually, I'm not even going to say what they are because I don't actually remember. I know a couple of them. These are the desert right there. And then we've got the jungle guys right here. I know I was going to say it, but there are some that I can't remember who's are who. And then these guys right here. I don't remember which ones those are from. I apologize. And then these guys here also, which I don't remember who they are. But you guys probably do more than I do, so because you guys are smarter than me. But there's the swampy guys right here. All right. And then there's the other guys from somewhere else in the world of Minecraft. Is that it? Okay, good. <laughs> and now we're going into the ocean biome with the temple. So there's the ocean temple. You'll be able to see it shortly. Is it? Yeah, we got the thing on, so that's good. And there it is. Beautiful. And then we're going to check out the conduit. Down here. Here is the conduit. Ah, pretty neat. Is that the heart of the sea inside, by the way? Because I just don't know. I'm a noob, and I'm doing this as my profession. All right, so in here we've got the library. The stronghold with the end portal. The dungeon. They really should update the dungeons. They're just kind of plain and boring, aren't they? And then we've got the TNT boom room with no TNT. So we're going to have to put some in there. Really unprepared, but I, I got to tell you guys, I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this because it's neat seeing other resource pack reviews or resource packs in the new review area. And here's the explosion. Just the way I like it. And then we've got the mine shaft and everybody's favorite part, ex including mine, the cave of wonders. <laughs> There it is. It's not really a cave of wonders, so if you think about it, it's just a cave of... Well, I guess this is a cave of wonder because you're never going to find all this, all these ores in the same tunnel. So it is a cave of wonders, I guess, in a way. And then here we go into the nether, which has now also been updated. And my favorite nether portal right there. Wouldn't it be cool if all nether portals looked like that? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? And then we've got Duder right here. And we've got another duder down here. There you go. What's up? I love how he's just sitting still now. Good boy. And then over here, towards the end, we have all of the other guys that I can't remember the names of right now. 
This is really not going very well, is it? I am sorry, guys. I am so sorry. And we've got the donkey here with the chest. There you go. And the mule with the chest. We've got the leather armor. The iron armor. The gold armor and the diamond armor. And then we have some of the carpets on the llamas. And then over here we've got the rest of the carpets on the llamas. That's pretty neat. I like those. And then we got banners over here. Banners right there. Banners right there. Me and Shri. Hi, Shri. And, and then we're going into the end. Wow, this is awesome. I like it. There's the ender crystals right here. Okay. And there are some more of the end items right here. We'll get a little bit closer up here to this one here. And then we're going to take a look at all the different colored shulker boxes, which are pretty neat. And over here, we've got the Ender Dragon. Look at There he is. And we've got the Tracers. This really makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> ah, and then we've got this thing right here. The Teleporter or something. Then we got this here. And then over here, we're going to go check out this place. Why, you know, I I really do kind of feel bad, guys. I'm sorry, I really feel bad because I can't believe I'm forgetting everything. Maybe it's the pressure of making a new resource pack review for the first time in a couple years. But I knew what all this stuff was yesterday. <laughs> so I'm guessing it is the pressure of making a new resource pack review after so long. But this place is pretty cool. All right, where's the boat? Here we go. Here is the boat. And then we're going to go see the shulker, which is inside. Because we want to see what he does. And he is no longer here. What happened to him? Hmm. Here, let's, I'm going to grab a shulker here. Can I get a shulker from in here? Shulker box. Yes, I can. We'll take the purple one, because I think that one's most natural there. Let's see if he opens up his face. No, it's a shulker box. My bad. We're going to have to spawn one. My apologies, guys. But we'll end the video here. I want to say thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you want this, you can find a download link in the description. There are several different versions of it from 16x16 16 16, all the way up to 512x512. 512 512. And the links will be down in the description. You guys can go download it and check it out for yourselves. I love your beautiful faces. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and I will see you again real soon.